Chicago's number one news. I now know that it wasn't my fault. Victims of sexual abuse by priests reach a $12.7 million settlement which the Archdiocese of Chicago. The settlement includes the publication of a lengthy deposition by Francis Cardinal George. The settlement requires that new level of openness by the Catholic Church. ABC 7's Kevin Roy is here for a closer look at it. Kevin? Ron and Cheryl, this was a remarkable day in this scandal for the Roman Catholic Church. Remarkable not because of the amount of money that will be paid to the victims, but because of the terms of the settlement. Francis Cardinal George agreeing to release a deposition, as well as agreeing to apologize privately and publicly. I want to take this occasion to apologize again for the sexual abuse of minors by some priests. It is not his first apology, and Francis Cardinal George says it will not be his last. As part of the settlement, he's agreed to apologize privately to the 16 men and women sexually abused by priests when they were children. This, however, is a first, an extraordinary 307-page deposition from the Cardinal. Attorneys say it's the first time such a deposition has been released publicly as part of a settlement with victims. He was important uh, to... Uh, not only be deposed under oath, but also to make that public. The cases settled today involved 11 former priests. Eight of them are pictured here, as well as one former Catholic school principal. The abuse dating back to 1962. As Cardinal George announced the settlement, two of the victims held their own news conference today, saying the money wasn't as important to them as the terms requiring full disclosure. I'm very grateful that I survived this. I didn't think I would. Both Therese Albrecht and Bob Brancato describe years enduring suicidal thoughts and depression. It changes your whole life. You think God is mad at you. You think God doesn't want you to be alive. You, you believe that you're not good enough to accomplish anything. The president of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests released a statement. Barbara Blaine praised the victims for insisting that secret church documents about these pedophile priests be made public. These courageous victims are the ones who deserve praise today. Meanwhile, Cardinal George acknowledged that church leaders, including himself, acted far too slowly in some cases, especially in the case of Father Dan McCormick, who pled guilty last year to abusing five children at a West Side parish. I regret uh, with all my heart that I didn't uh, feel I was able to take him out uh, immediately. Cardinal George called today's settlements another moment of purification in healing the church from the sex abuse scandal. But it's far from over. There are still about two dozen abuse cases still pending against the Chicago Archdiocese, including today's settlements. The Archdiocese has paid $65 million to 250 victims over the last 30 years. Ron and Cheryl. All right. Thanks, Kevin. This new level of openness. In